This video is going to cover Apex Pro app settings. Let's start by tapping the small information icon in the bottom right corner of the home screen. What will appear here is the software version for the app and then the firmware of the Apex Pro device that you're connected to. You can see currently I'm not connected to an Apex Pro device, so no firmware is shown. Below that, we can select instructions, which takes us to the Apex Pro website. The simulator, which gives us a rough idea of what the Apex Pro lights would look like using your phone as the car, and you can mimic driving the car, pretending like your phone's going through different conditions. The privacy policy and the terms of use. This may be a page where if you ever have to contact Apex Pro customer support, they may ask you to connect to your unit and tell the support team the software version or the firmware version. Now let's tap where you see Andrew's Apex Pro. You'll see your name in that space. This will appear, uh, make settings appear, and this is the different setting options for your user profile. You can see the first name, last name, and car number that are fillable areas at the top. And then below that are a bunch of toggles that allow for different options. Starting at the top, you can see English units. If you toggle that, units will be shown as metric in data review. Streaming crew view data can be turned off. This uh, is automatically turned on when you're in the app or when you first download the app. So if you don't want to stream your position via crew view, you can turn off streaming. Telemetry data is only for LapTimer Plus subscribers, but having this to toggled on streams your telemetry data so that other LapTimer Plus subscribers can view your telemetry. If you don't want them to be able to see that, you can turn it off. Use Apex Hardware GPS. When this is toggled on, connecting to the Apex Pro device means that you're using it as the GPS and as the data logging uh, device for all the data that you see recorded in the phone. If you turn this off, Apex will actually use the phone's GPS to record very rudimentary data, like speed and position. It's not very accurate with the phone's GPS, but if you're watching this and you're not ready to purchase the Apex Pro hardware yet, download the app for free and toggle this option off, and you can at least get some basic information and data review. Automatic start. Leaving this toggled on means that if your phone is awake, meaning the screen is not dark, and you are on the start page or the lap timer page, the Apex Pro will start logging data automatically at 30 miles per hour. We recommend disabling that for autocross applications. Automatic stop will stop logging data if you're stationary for more than five minutes. So if you have this enabled, when you come to a stop and you come back to your paddock space, if you don't touch anything on your phone, the data will eventually get saved after five minutes. You can see I have mine toggled off because I was racing and we had a red flag during the race uh, and my Apex Pro stopped logging data because I was sitting for more than five minutes. So I decided to toggle it off in case that were to happen again. Check PID list. This is only if you're using Apex OBD2. Um, leave this toggled on unless you reach out to us with issues with OBD2 connection. You may want to try turning it off. Now at the bottom we can either sign out of our account, which will, uh, which will sign us out of the account that we're logged into now, which is my personal account or we can tap save if we make any changes.